One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. this week I wrote up an arrangement to the classic song Swing Low Sweet Chariot. I just did it in the people's key of G but you could easily add your capo and play it and sing it wherever it's comfortable for you. We've got solos for the verse and the chorus and then I'm going to break down a bunch of backup for this song. So we're going to go over the melody in the solo sections and then in the backup section we're going to look at Okay, now that we know the melody, how do we stay away from the melody? Because in backup, you generally want to play something that complements the melody without being the, the melody itself. Okay, I'm going to break down all three parts. And if you're watching the preview of this lesson, you can head over to my website, mikeheadingmusic.com, and grab the full lesson. It's going to come with all the videos, all the practice tracks, and the tab for this lesson. All right, here's Swing Low, Sweet Chariot in the key of G. All right, let's start breaking down the verse solo to Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Let me play the first five measures, and then I'll start breaking it down. Here we go. Do that a few more times, we'll start speeding it up a little bit. One more time, a little faster. Okay, so we're gonna start with a rolling pickup on beats three. So we'll count one, two, and then we're gonna do a hammer on on the second string, a two three hammer on on the second string, thumb middle with my right hand. So one, two, three, and so thumb middle there, second string, first string. Keep your left hand down, your second finger of your left hand down, and then do five two thumb index. And we're basically going to be rolling forward, crossing that bar line into measure two. So we got one, two, three, and four. And then for the beginning of measure two, we're gonna put our first finger of our left hand up on the second fret of the first string. So you can practice that. So one, two. And that's the well I, and then the, the second fret at the beginning of measure two is looked over Jordan. Let's do that a few times. So one, two. And I just like that rolling pickup. It kind of fits with this song. And then we're going to take our, our first finger off, pinch the outside strings, five and one. This is the second part of measure two. So we've got looked over. And then keep your left hand, your second finger down, and we're going to do five, two, one, five. So let's play those first two measures. One, two. A couple more times. One, two. And then measure three, we're going to quick move down to the third string and do a quick 16th note pull off. So one E and would be how you count that. Make sure you're using your index finger of your right hand. Really important there to do that pull off. The last note of measure two is your thumb on the fifth string. So you're doing index middle there, third string, first string. And then I'm quickly going to do a two five slide on the four string with a forward roll, four, three, one. And then go up and do five, three, one. Let's do just measure three on its own. You gotta really quickly get down to that second fret. And if you can't get all the way down to that second fret, you could also use the third fret. Be a little bluesier, but you could also do that. Okay, let's do the first three measures. One, two. A little faster. You 
really got to get your hand down quick. That's good practice on, on getting the correct angle of your left hand too, so you can get all those notes to ring out. You can't be bent back too much like this, otherwise when you do that, you know, when you try and do that pull off, you need that first string to be able to ring out. So what's the melody there? So see how we're playing that? We're not playing it with single notes. We're filling it up with a roll. So on those open first strings, we're translating that to a 2-3 hammer on. We're finding that note on a lower string and then hammering on into it. And then right here, instead of using the, the second string open, we're doing a 3-2 pull off and then a slide. So this is kind of an intermediate lesson and this is a good one to kind of break down how are we translating that melody. And then we're translating that into this. And then measure four, keep rolling forward. So you're gonna, you're gonna roll forward, five, three, one. Now we're going to go into a C chord, open two, hammer on, on the four string, strings four, three, one. And we're going to do a four to verse roll, so then hit the open fifth string, come backwards, first string, third string, four string, first string. And I like adding that little hammer on because it helps you get off the, the slide. The other thing I kind of recommend there is getting your first and third finger down before you try and do that hammer on. So you've got, and then you kind of get those down first. That helps you get some power on that hammer on, I found. If you try and do that one first and then get your other fingers down, I don't know, for me it doesn't work quite as well, so. For measure five, we're gonna hit the open four string, pinch the outside strings, and then walk up, open four string, second fret on the four string. And what's the melody there of the on the C chord, measure four? It's so we've got Pretty much all melody there. So for the first five measures, let's really work on playing the melody there. Right there you can put a little accent. And then right here as well. And then right here on the C on that ham rod. And then right here on the open, fourth string. Hear that? So we got Measure six, we're gonna pinch strings one and three, index middle, two five slide on the four string, four three one, and then five three one, two forward rolls. That's a good back up or lead lick, so we've got. Again, we're just, we got a long note there, coming for to carry me home, uh, that's the coming for, so we're just filling that up instead of going. pinching or something like that, we're filling it up with a roll now. Measure seven, two, four slide on the third string with an alternating thumb roll. And then same slide with a forward roll, T-I-M-T, -T, strings three, two, one, five. So that's the carry me home part. And then measure eight, we're gonna hit the open first string. And then a 2-3 hammer on on the second string, thumb middle, and then 5-2-1-5, keep your left hand down. So let's do 6 through 8, we got. So that's the coming for to carry me home part, like I said. Let's look at the accents there again, because this is kind of an intermediate lesson. I'm pinching that that open third string and first string. I'm, I'm kind of popping that out. 
putting a little accent on this slide right here. Same thing with these slides. I'm, I'm really accenting that slide. Don't slide too quick. And then right here on the on the first string. And then right here again, when I, my thumb comes down, I'm kind of accenting there. Because look at that melody there. Coming for to carry me home. On home, it's just one long note, right? So we've got two measures to fill with that one note. So that's where we're, we're rolling through that. And then measure nine, we're gonna, we're just, again, it's that long note, so we're just filling this up now. We're gonna do a double hammer on like, like the Foggy Mountain roll. So two, three hammer on the second string with your index finger. My index finger of my right hand, excuse me if I didn't make that clear. Index finger of my right hand. And then another hammer on your thumb of your right hand is gonna come down, do thumb middle. And then five, two, one, five again. So that's just a variation on measure eight. You could actually play measure eight again if you wanted to, but it's just a, a, a slight variation. So let's do eight and nine. One more time, a little faster. Let's do six through nine, here we go. times. One more. So I'd really encourage you to work on the accenting on this song because the the rolls and the licks themselves aren't that hard but again what I would recommend is sing the song in your head, sing the lyrics. That's going to naturally help you accent the right notes.